Hi everyone. In this video I want to talk about working with checkboxes and creating calculations of checkbox values as well as enabling and disabling checkboxes from a checkbox action. To make this a little more clear, let's take a look at this form that I have on screen right now. Notice that I have a row of checkboxes here and if I go to one of these checkboxes get my hand tool all right and I click you'll notice that I have a calculation performed over in the far field on the far right and as I click additional checkboxes you can see that that value is summed I also have a couple of buttons down here that enable or disable all the checkboxes in a given row so if I come down here and I say all enabled and click then you'll notice that all of these checkboxes are enabled down at the bottom here, I've got a checkbox, or actually two checkboxes. One is going to ask for a member discount, and then another one is uh, if the uh, form filler has a discount coupon to enter a value there. So the first thing I'll do is click on this checkbox here, and you'll notice that a value is automatically calculated, and basically the member gets a 20% discount from the value here in the subtotal field. Down at the discount coupon field, what I have here is a number of different discounts that can be used for uh, coupons of varying amounts. So we need to know what amount it is, and we do that in an application response dialog box. So if I click on this, you'll see that a dialog box opens. So let's say I have a coupon worth $175 and I click OK. You can see that that value is added and then the total sum is added at the bottom. So let's tear this form apart and see what's going on with how I'm actually making these calculations and do, doing the enabling and disabling of different fields. So I'll get my form tool over here and let's first of all take a look at what's going on in this calculation field over here on the far right. If I double click on it and I click on the calculate tab, you'll notice that I have a sum of a total of CONF. That's the name of all of these fields are CONF. And so basically what I have is on each one of these fields you'll take a look at the options you can see I have a value here in the export value and that's all that's quite simple I just put a different value for each one of these export values in uh, each one of the checkboxes and then I just perform a sum and it's a parent name so if I just click on CONF it's going to take the parent name and sum all of the fields that have the parent child names associated with it. And that's how we create these sums. Now down here it's a little bit more complicated. And let me zoom in here and show you exactly what's going on with uh, these couple of fields down here. You'll see that if I if I get my uh, maybe zoom in a little more. Okay. And let's close this box time being I'm going to take this field and I'm going to move it to the left and you'll notice that basically I have two fields here and one is for the on and one is for the off now this is a calculation that is going to create 20 percent of the subtotal value and when I double click you can see that this is just going to turn this field off when I run the JavaScript I'm basically getting the member value that's this value and I'm going to zero it out and then I'm going to get this field and make it visible and I'm going to hide this field and I'm going to take the button off and this is all the JavaScript that's associated with it now if you copy and paste this field or the JavaScript to a checkbox field that you create the only thing you have to worry about is I have a a field name for the sub value that I'm clearing over here and then I have a different field name for the COU off and COU on 
or MEM on and MEM off. That's the name of those fields. So in this particular case, I'm working with the member item. So it's the MEM off and MEM on. And these are the switches that I'm using to turn those values on and off. So if I show you what's going on here, this is on. So if I click on this button, then this one, this field, this checkbox is hidden. And now I can go ahead and ask for my member discount again. And there it is. So it's basically what I'm doing is I'm clearing the field, but I'm also just hiding and showing each one of these different checkboxes. Now in this area here, I have this uh, discount coupon that I'm going to ask for an application response dialog box. So let's go over here and find out the one that is uh, going to actually prompt me for the response dialog box. And you can see that this is the JavaScript here. I've got application response and then I've got a message in here and it's basically going to take the value there and it's going to multiply it times a minus one to create a minus value over here and then I've got the show and hide options that I have very similar to the previous checkboxes of up above and then the one on the right or I should say the one on the left this one is just basically clearing the checkbox field clearing the data out of the field and then showing and hiding those checkboxes as well okay so let me uh, dismiss that and we'll actually work on these. This one is on, so when I click, it clears the value. If I click on this one, it opens the dialog box and I'll go 125 here. And you can see that minus 125 is added for the discount coupon. And I'll zoom out. And this uh, reset button will reset all the fields back to their normal view. So you can just take a look at those checkboxes, those calculations, and how I put those together. You can copy and paste those checkboxes or the JavaScripts contained therein. And just look at changing the field names if you have field names that are different than the ones I'm using here. And you can create your own set of checkbox calculations and enabling and disabling options as uh, you see that I have here okay uh, actually what I should do is show you how I enable these as well so let's go up here and take a look at this one I have a JavaScript and this is basically a loop and I'm going to loop through all of these checkboxes here and I'm going to go this uh, check this box zero true that means I'm going to turn them on and then an off statement to take this checkbox itself, the one that I'm using to turn these on, and I'm going to clear it, and that's what I have false over here. And then if you take a look at the other field I have here that actually turns them off, you can see that once again I have my loop, and I've got the checkboxes, check this box zero false means it it's going to turn those off and then it's going to clear this field as well in the second set. So this basically is how I turn checkboxes on and off in Acrobat JavaScript. Once again, just copy and paste the JavaScripts or the fields. And if you need to, you can change the name. If you have a, an array that you're going to set up with parent child names, then you can easily just change the name in the JavaScript and use that JavaScript on your own PDF forms. Okay, so I hope this uh, helps those people who are working a lot with checkboxes and creating sums and enabling and disabling checkboxes from checkbox actions. And uh, I hope it'll be useful for you. So once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the very best in all your Acrobat activity. And until next time, bye-bye.